Okay, welcome back. Got my mortar. Barrel, at least. It is still nighttime, and I do not rest like a moron. I should have done that first before starting the episode. I'm stupid. Uh, okay. Undock. Okay, gotta head in sort of through there. Yeah, I know I said I was gonna go around last time, but, uh, no. I'm tempted to see if that will damage it. Come on. Come on. No, it doesn't. Damn it, don't make me crazy. It's only 8 a.m. I guess that does just damage me. I went this way last time. I think I just gotta wait for the roots to change. There we go. Which way was it next? Up this way. Going around here. Okay, so now just head back to the airmen. Yeah, and I'm sure he's in like the RAF or something, but I'm just going to keep him with the Texan accent. Because I like it. No reason other than that. There was the receipt that I did not get because I died. Tattered receipt. I already read that, so I'm not going to read it again. Uh, carefully, don't drop the stuff. Careful, careful. I know I had plenty of space there, but I didn't want to risk it. Okay. Back here we go. Airman. I found the parts of the mortar. Mortar frame, blah, 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 pursuit update. That's the lot. Now, while, we, while I work on assembly, blah, 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 blah. Texas, 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 Texas. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. That'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the location of the map on your the traps on your map. Uh track is very specific like bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? Is it safe? Of course not. Have you got everything? How do you make those traps? With patience. The creatures only seem to sense movement, so whenever one was close, I froze. Okay. We did make three special baits from different combinations of fish. One trap, second strike, back up. All right, Alright, bait for the first one. This one takes three fish from the area. Uh, it's going to be a gar. I'm not 100% sure about those two. Uh, second one. Some sort of catfish and the same thing for the first one. Uh, third one. What the fuck is that? Okay, so... Let's take a quick snooze. Quick snoozle. Set out in the morning. Catch me some fish. Okay, I need to get a gar. I know that. At least one. No, just one gar. Then... Oh, that's just going to give me 
broke a monocle or some shit. Need like th okay. Gray moat letter. Need three of these. I think I'll get that first bait done real quick. I don't think it has to be fresh. I think you just have to have the fish and not just be a rotting pile of goo. Because rotting piles of goo aren't... Actually, no, never mind. That would actually be pretty good as bait. Yeah, I think I got the first one. That should do it. Mix these in. Mix these in here. Load this into a trap and then get well clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire it on the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof the thing's really dead, you hear? Mm, nope, I'm good. Exit. I wish I could blow shit up with the mortar, because I really want to blow shit up with the mortar. But I also know this is a fishing game and not a blow shit up with a mortar game. As much as I like blowing shit up with a mortar. Uh, load the trap with bait. You should probably move away. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Why did it spawn there? Come on. Snap trap. Got it. Whoo. Oh, that's a good trap. Bang. Oh, that was satisfying. Chunk of flesh. A pale and bloodied slab. Its smell is acrid and metallic. Okay, so that's one last one to deal with. Looks like there's three in the swamp. Once those are taken care of, I pretty much got free reign. But I'm very happy with that one being gone. Because I think that third of the swamp is safe. Got the corpse. It is freaky as hell. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you know both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Okay, so for the next one... I can't remember. Right, uh, baiting traps. Second bait. I got this one. That's some sort of catfish. I'm gonna rest. Catfish are usually kind of nocturnal, but there are some species of diurnal catfish. Um, yeah, catfish are a pretty funky creature. I imagine the last ones are also probably gonna be some sort of nocturnal thing. Yeah, there's more traps. I think I've seen one of one of the other ones. I'm not sure if I've seen the other, both of them. But this place should be completely free and clear for me to do stuff in. Sergeant Fish, Grey Mullet, and Car. Yeah. <clears throat> Lots of mushrooms around here. Gar, Sergeant Fish. There's the other trap. Yeah, I imagine I'm probably gonna have to wait till nighttime for the other thing. Oh shit. God, it wasn't paying attention. Okay, so I can completely avoid those things just by dead stop and just wait. 
like you would with any other wild animal. Well, not any other, but most other wild animals. Most of them don't want to deal with you any more than you want to deal with them. So if you don't give them a reason to attack, they're... I'm not going to say more than likely, but a decent chance they're just going to try to wander off. Old fish are got... <clears throat> you see a campfire. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A piece of fabric is gathered at the base of a large tree nearby. Rotten fish hang from the spit. The fire below had been prepared. Someone must have left in a hurry. Little feather. A nest of rags lies at the base of a tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols covered into the tree tr carved into the tree trunk above. There are three distinct sets of symbols. First one, there's a book symbol underneath a wave, and then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. Okay. That tells me, like, knowledge down below was brought up. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person lying down in the center. <coughs> That's probably the artifacts I'm looking to get. More than likely with some element of human sacrifice. A book symbol sits above a wave. A downwards arrow points to from the book down through the wave. Okay, so that tells me knowledge was brought up. There's some sort of sacrifice ritual that's going to be ha that's more than likely going to be happening once I gather all these things. So I got to be prepared for a fight once I get them all to the guy. <clears throat> Man, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is that I got in my throat or what I ate. Actually, I don't know exactly what I ate. I ate a bunch of cheese. Um, sorry, it's just fucking with my throat right now. <clears throat> that ought to help. <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah, I more than likely have to get the, uh, wait until night time, and then, uh, then look for the catfish and whatever the heck else I'm looking for. I will definitely take a research part. And some wood, because I definitely need wood. Just about time for bed. There they go. Okay. Slowly and carefully. Where are you? I know I need two of you. Long fin eel. This is indeed quite long. That's a really annoying spot. I have to go around. Now I gotta look for that catfish. 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 Oh, of course, it's just too fucking big. Oh, uh, that's annoying. Let's see, is there any way to rearrange my things? God, if that one spot wasn't in there, I'd have so much more room. This does not help at all. Yeah, this doesn't happen at all. Uh, I really want this thing. Bioluminescent mushrooms. Okay, so you're over this way. Gotta love glowing plants. That definitely tells me it's safe to consume. Oh, 
Ah, and there's more long finials in case I needed another one. Uh, airman, let's do second one. Catfish. Better bait. Last one. Okay. Reeking bait. That's all for now. Okay. Let's rest just because, you know, be slightly less crazy and actually be able to see what I'm doing. Because that's always nice. Alright, so. I think that one's going to be the quickest and easiest to get to because I can borderline see the thing from here. I think it's supposed to be like over there or something. Yeah, it's going to be like way just past that branch of trees right there. Alright. Quick turn around here. doesn't make a difference. I know this doesn't make a difference. There's no battery life or you know anything like that, but still, I like to turn out the lights. Okay, I'm not sure which way a thing is going to be appearing from. That's where it's coming from. Now, move my ass away. Man, I wish I had, like, an animation for the shell. Alright. That's one down. Two down. One to go. And then my swamp will be safe. Vortex Interloper. What the fuck? A slow swirl twists its body, stretching it towards an unseen dimension. I oh, guess the receipt, pursuits, trap nine suckers, yes. Cyclopedia. Vortex Interloper. That looks weird as hell. What the heck? Mangrove. Okay, what do we got? Catfish. Yes, that's nocturnal. Nocturnal. Okay, yeah. yeah. Long finial. A long eel with delicate fins spends the day coiled around the roots of the mangrove trees, but emerges at night to hunt. And the catfish. Equipped with sensing barbels, this large scavenger can detect morsels hidden in the mud. I'm guessing that's the Goliath tigerfish, which I do not have. Nor do I know where to get it, but once the mine suckers are taken care of, I should have much more free range of the swamp. I'm also probably going to have to go get some explosives. Just gonna go drop off this lump of flesh. Probably take a nap for the day. See if it's these things that I actually have to look for the dog tags in. Nope, that's just the monocle again. Ah, uh, damn it. Gotta get some explosives. Hey, can I mark a target? Do you have, like, targeting flares? Or can you just, like, see that? Because I would like that thing to go away. Because that's kind of annoying. Airman, yep. Got some flesh. Yep. Poke it. Slashes with a knife. It wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. Let's finish this. Take a quick rest, sleep the night, because I don't want to have to do this in the dark. Alrighty. Last one, it's going to be to the south. But I have to go around, because that thing still exists as much as I want it to be blown up. But no, it's still there.
And I wonder where that Goliath tiger fish is hiding. Sorry, brother came in with food. Alright, there's the last one. Yeah, if I'm looking at this whole thing, that spot gives me some concern, like some, you know, some thought. Uh, I think that's the most likely spot. I'll check over there in just a second. It's only 10 a.m., so let's let's go check out that other spot. Okay, yep. Oh, yep, that is definitely it right there. My senses were spot on. Right there, there the hell is the thing. But I can't see it through here because this thing's in the way. But that is 100% the Goliath tiger fish. So that's three giant branches in the way, at least that I'm aware of. So when I, so if I head back to Gale Cliffs and Ingfell, go to the Whaler, I'm gonna have to get. A, I'll grab four or five just in case. Maybe a bunch of extra. I'll, I might just clear them out just because it doesn't hurt to have extra explosives. Well, actually, no, it does kind of hurt to have extra explosives, especially if you're not using them properly. But you know, you know what I mean. free. Well, I mean, technically I am home free, but the thing is dead. Let's see it then. You drop the large, bloodied carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was and embedded in the cr flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from a right collector. Here, why don't you take it? He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. What do you do now? Can't say for sure. Thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right leaving my brothers here. I think I'll stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. A lot of help when you're fishing. Mm. Left over from the other bait in there. A small mix of bait. It can be used to attract all manner of nearby species. Mm. That's pretty neat. Alright, now I've got the Shimmering Necklace. Gonna undock, head to the lady, because I also want to sell my fish before it gets too rotten. Damn it. Well, oh, scratch that. Bye-bye. That works great. Sorry, eating fries. You enter the house, carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognize it al recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of my 
pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Atrophy instantly harvests an entire shoal of fish. Good God. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing to your legs. Back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to the devil's spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. And I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course. As human as you are. Anything else? Okay, yeah. Uh, what do I do? Atrophy. This phrase instantly calls the closest shoal of fish, readying them for a swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need not be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Okay, so that's like a big shoal of a lot of really expensive rare fish. Then, yeah, probably go for it. Okay, so my next thing, up to the Devil's Spine. I'm at about 26 minutes. Uh... I'll head down to Gale Cliffs, grab myself some explosives. Because, you know, that's what every man needs in his life. Explosives. Gotta love explosives. Then teleport back here to, you know, get the somewhat of a shortcut, then head straight back up for the, the mangrove swamp. I saw that Goliath Tigerfish. I'm getting that Goliath Tigerfish. And last up is the Watch in the Devil's Spine. What are you doing down there? Oh, achievement unlocked. Careless harvesting. Deplete a, 20, a total of 25 fishing spots. I did not think there was going to be one fish in that entire thing. That is weird. Screw off, demons. Stop infecting my stuff. I don't need your demonic bullshit. You do not exist, Rock. Why do you plague me so? Wait, why the fuck did I come over here? I don't even need to be over here. Uh, I don't know. Floating dock, I guess. Yeah, I need some repairs. Okay, sorry. Away we go. To Wingfell. I'll clear the guy out of explosives, and then call it there. I think that was a pretty productive episode. Much more so than the last time. Still disappointed that I didn't get to blow shit up with the mortar, because I like blowing shit up with the mortar. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I love you. Can I do that again? God damn it. I probably just make some by the day. Okay, so 7 a.m. Let's uh actually I'll put those in my storage, that way I can just pick them up, because I don't want to chance them falling off the boat. Unduck. Uh manifest. Zoop. There. 
That only took me three minutes. Okay. Away we go. To the mangrove swamp once more. Gotta get that sweet, sweet Goliath tiger fish. I imagine there's one of these sacrifice things, or like the equipment things, like this thing over here, not just the standing stones. In every zone, but I've only found this one so far. If anybody knows of any other ones, please let me know, because I would very much like to have more stuff. I love cursed gear. Alright, then after this episode, I'm probably gonna go get some dinner. Alright, shit. I forgot to end it there. Okay, I'll end it here then. On my way there. I'm gonna keep going, I'm not gonna stop. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you guys do know of any other uh, sacrifice, sacrificial altars to get some cursed gear, let me know. Leave that in the comments. Message me directly on Twitter. Call me out on on Discord, start screaming my name in the street, send me some smoke signals. I, I don't really get smoke signals. Uh, connection isn't very good here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let me know. I'd very much like some. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go look at that, actually. Uh, thank you all for watching. I will start over here if there's something interesting. But I'll see you next time.